It's your girl Sin, and I'm back with another video. And if you want to see what we're doing today, stay tuned. T-shirt chick. <laughs> y'all know I gotta be silly. All right. Um, today, if y'all been keeping up with your girl, y'all know what I'm doing today. Y'all already know. But I'm gonna go on and show y'all anyway. So I got this giant boy over here to help me try to get some of this stuff done over here. Cause as y'all know, your girl just upgraded. You know what, you know what's going on. You know what it is, you know what it is. Okay, the video is looking better y'all. I adjusted the settings uh, last night cause my video, I didn't like how I was looking. So I worked on some things, hopefully everything right now. So uh, we gonna see. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean this desk off right here and I'm gonna move it over there where my giant son is at right over there where he's at so that i can put this big bad boy on there because i can't lift that thing up that thing is about as heavy as me probably heavier than me for real probably heavier than me so i'm gonna go ahead clean this desk off and get him to help me uh set that up on the desk that's gonna be a temporary fix for right now but i gotta get it up off that floor can't have the good equipment on the floor like that so let's go
drugs. All right, I was gonna get my son to put this thing together, but as you see, show where it's been at, son. It's bent up. It's damaged pretty good, I guess. I don't know, what you think? You think we should keep it? We just put that on the bottom? I just wanted to hit the bottom. It is? That's right. It, we'll just go ahead and keep it, I guess. What you think? Yeah. Send it back or keep it? Yeah, I ain't gonna be too picky. And see, that part is bent down or something, ain't it? It's out wider, or is that how it's supposed to be? Both of them like this? Like this one fits inside. This one right here fits inside. Okay. Alright. So it should be fine then, I guess. We're gonna go ahead and keep it. I'm not gonna be picky like that. Not gonna be picky like that. Because I gotta take it all the way back to Shreveport, which is an hour away. look like that's gonna take a while so just like I did with the other cart I'm gonna film a little bit of it and come back and let y'all check it out the court right there y'all can check that out he's got that finished 
We just gotta tighten it up. Okay, so now he's taking, he's taking the uh, screws off of here, the bolts out of here, and right here, the good thing about this is right here, it's got a number two. They already have it labeled. Number two right there, and you know which arm goes on there because right here, this one has a number four on it. So it goes on the one with the number four. So that's real easy and simple to do. wrong i think this back was these are supposed to be up on the bottom i'm pretty sure because these this is the pallet the platen right here it can't really go on here because i don't know it's, it's just wrong it's just all wrong all right y'all i was having a hard time figuring out how to put and put the platens on but you can see i i got this one on so without karen's help i figured out how to do the don't listen to what she's saying. I figured out how to do it all by myself. She did not help. Her. <laughs> so, let me see. Let me see if I can do it again. See if I can do it again. I did it two times. See if I can do it one more time. Turn it that way. It's kind of a trick to it. But once you get it, you got it and you good. Man, this press is like so much better than the other press I had. I hate I had the other press now. I'm like, why well, didn't just start off with this press? But hey, we live and we learn. Uh-oh. I got this chair in the way. I mean, this, this thing, and then the instructions are so much clearer. Y'all know how your girl do not like to read instructions. I don't like to read directions. I don't like to read much of nothing. But these directions, they so simple. Right here, I mean, they got arrows and stuff with one word. I can read stuff like arm, base. I don't mind reading stuff like that. But when you get to reading like paragraphs, See, look, this is the longest sentence they got. And it's, it's really one sentence. One sentence. That's all you got to read. One sentence. That, that's easy. Easy. to the flash dryer. Oh, okay. People always being nosy, y'all. Y'all see that? Y'all look. Look, y'all. I'm, 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 I'm directing the show. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a break, y'all. That was, that was kind of hard for me to figure out by myself. <laughs> she didn't do that by herself. Don't believe that. Y 
some tools. I was able to tighten up that cart over there that you just saw me put the ink on right there. So that cart is ready to go. Um, that black ink down there is almost out. I'll have to put it in with the rest up there. But um, over here, the press is done. I'm done with the press. The only thing is uh, I have to make sure you know see where they belong like right th right here this one is like in close as you see right here and this one is far back i gotta get them all at the same distance and then lock them in and uh once i do that i'm gonna come back and fix this right because these i think i gotta turn them the other way and put them up top so what i'm about to do next is put this part of the dryer on there if i can if i have the tools to do it because i i don't have a lot of tools so i did borrow some tools but um i'm still not having some of the things that i need so i'm gonna go ahead and um see what i can do to do this and i i don't know I still have not figured out what this is just yet. Yeah, I still haven't figured out what this is just yet, but it's coming. Time is coming and I will know what it is soon. All right, so first I'm gonna make sure I got a thing that can fit in here. Let me see. Maybe it's this big one. Nope, that one is not going to fit. May not have a tool to fit that one, y'all. Don't think I do. Nope, that's not going to fit. It, that one needs a huge tool. So I finished everything that I can finish for right now. So what I what I'm looking to do is um, take just take this part off of both sides right here, as you see right there, and then like right here, these two holes will stick that in there, and we will be good to go. So I am I'm close to being done. With that, I'm just missing two different tools. I'm missing two different tools. So once I can, um, once I can get those two different things, then I can finish everything. But that's all that I can do right now. I guess I could do this. I could go ahead and do this part right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this part right here because I'm gonna have to take my son. I'm gonna have to take my son to practice here shortly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that part and I'm gonna call it a day. If I do come back over here tonight, I'll film it. All right, so let me see what I gotta do with this part right here. Okay, what do I do with this part? Okay, these two I think. Yeah, I guess. These two will come off right here. All right, so they're gonna go on like this right here. I really like the fact that I have uh, this type of screen holders i like the fact that i have this type of screen holders because you can adjust them in many different ways you can adjust them left to right and you can adjust the screen to from up to down and i think that get, that makes it much more versatile and depending on the size screens you have you know you would either adjust it in or out I'll have to see. I'm just going to put them on here for now, but I'll have to see what what size screens I'm using. But right now all I have is the is the 18 by 20. I mean is the y'all know, y'all know what ones I mean. So 
So this part is pretty simple. Loosen it up, take that off. Y'all, and one thing I'm really going to love on this screen printing press is the fact that you don't need tools to do the micro registration. Because on my last press, you had to have tools to do it. So your girl is going to be able to do it a whole lot easier now. Come on, go in there. All right. And we're just putting them on here. It's not, I don't know if this is where they're going to stay at right now. I'm going to have, I haven't even put, tried putting the screens in there yet. Once I see if the screens are going to fit or where they're going to fit best at, I can do it that, I can do that then. Let me see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on that so y'all can see up close what I'm actually doing on these two. So they are attached to one side for shipping. So you unscrew them off and put the other one down. And you can slide this one right on off. And the one that comes off first is gonna go on the opposite side. So the second one that comes off, when it comes off, just flip it over and put it right back on and you got it right there so it's six of these arms to do seem like they're not wanting to stay down probably because it's not any weight on it on the on the screen we'll see got it done y'all I'm gonna let y'all check it out now all I need to do is put some screens on this bad boy and I can print something that's what it's looking like right there y'all check that thing out check that thing out it's looking nice looking nice I'm, I'm really loving this Anatol press for real y'all I'm really loving this I wish I would have went with Anatol first instead of going with Vastex y'all Cause this press that I have, this is not their most extravagant press. This one, it's but it's it's a good one though. This one is the lightning. The thunder is actually their like they their best press, their best manual press or their top 
of the line manual press the one i have is actually not the top top of the line the only difference i believe is the this one has the one gas shocks right here you might think it's springs but it's actually a gas shock right here this thing right here the gas shock is inside of there and the other one has two of those but yeah and i think like on some of it like you see how that's got kind of it's a little play in that right there like some of like that one that one right there is more bouncy like uh let me see this one seems like it's more more strong it don't bounce as much like right here that one is more strong like some of them some of them got a little bit more play but that's probably you gotta i'm gonna I'm a, uh double check because you know this this press is new to me so it's probably that i just need to tighten up the bolt because it is a bolt on the end of there so if i tighten that up it might it might tighten things up a little bit and sometimes you you know that may be a good thing that it's a little bouncy like that so it won't come up real hard you know when you're printing so i might have to loosen the other ones up so yeah that's uh that's what it's looking like right there so i'm really loving this y'all i'm really loving this right here y'all see y'all check everything out and it act it's it's fitting pretty nicely up in here um over here i'm probably gonna have to like once i do get this thing done i'm not sure which way this thing goes because i may end up like rearranging back there to get things to uh to work out a little bit better i might end up moving the ink and my cutter over to the other wall i don't know i'm gonna I'm have to see i'm gonna have to see because i believe this end right here is the end that you put the shirts in and i was not wanting to have to print with my back facing this way and put the shirts in that way but i'm gonna I'm see i'm gonna see uh what what i'm actually do we gonna we gonna see what what we gonna do or i might just flip it around i don't know but this is this is what everything's looking like i still have not even unwrapped this bad boy over here i still gotta put this bad boy right here together but the thing is i don't have anything to take these big bolts off right here and those big bolts are right here too i have to take them off to put that in and then these things right here so it's a couple of things that i don't have the tools to do so i'm gonna do my best to try to get the tools for that uh sometime today and either come back tonight or tomorrow and do it and i hate i mean you know my son got a basketball game but i, I kind of hate to have to leave because i want to i would like to get all this done and and then i'm gonna see about getting my uncle hopefully he can come in on monday and do all the the um, wiring for the equipment because i'm planning on being printing something or being able to print something next week y'all so this is what it is right here um a couple more things to put together and as y'all see back here shop is still in shambles um this this is the stuff that wouldn't fit on the truck last night part of that is gonna be what i'm gonna uh try to make a table right over there you see my uh exposure unit is actually on top of my desk where i usually would sit to work so what i'm what i'm probably gonna end up doing is um either getting me like a smaller desk that can go like right there where that area is at or i may not have a desk i might just um use because i'm getting a cash register stand a register stand to go right there i might just use that i'm not going to be just working working on that i'm going to be doing mostly printing i'm going to try to get the design and done at home and that way all i have to do is print here and over here i do have a space it's kind of junky up over there right now but i do usually have to put my um, laptop right over there so that i can use that rolling cutter over there you know it's not wireless so i do have a space right there if i just need to have a space but i would like to have a, a setup in the front so i don't know we're gonna see and then this area over here we're gonna see what's what's gonna happen with all this because i still got my old flash dryer over there that's still not sold yet so if anybody want a flash dryer the rolling cutter that's over there if anybody need a cutter i know it's still in plastic that's my exposure unit that's my flash dryer that i have not 
had a chance to put up yet because I don't have the proper tools. The lightning press right here. And we got right here my conveyor dryer. I don't know. Let me see. I, maybe. Let me try to see where, these, where this handle goes. I don't really know. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of. This thing right here. I wonder if this didn't go with somebody. I don't know. It's got to go with this stuff. But I got to figure out what to do with that. Maybe it goes on. I don't know. I don't know where it goes. Um, like I was saying, I plan on being open by next Wednesday, being able to print some stuff, hopefully having everything here that I need. While I'm out of town this weekend, I'm going to try to find a cash register stand. I'm going to go online tonight and try to locate an area over there where we're going to be and try to get all that taken care of. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. See you in another video. Print Squad out.